Remember, it's easy to be an asshole. Try being a nice person. Hey, let's start with some good news before we get into the presentation. The Biden administration finally abandons the U.S. COVID vaccine travel requirements. Slow, you know, it's hidden under the table. The vaccine requirements will end May 11th. The reason? Simple. After three years, ladies and gentlemen, of increasingly obvious science, the White House announced the U.S. would be ending the requirements for non-U.S. citizens to show proof of vaccination against COVID-19 as a condition of entering the country. The Biden administration is also ending the vaccine mandates for federal employees. Thank God, federal contractors and other federally funded workers. Additionally, um, HHS and the DHS announced today that they will start the uh, process to end their vaccination requirements, uh, you know, for Head Start educators, the um, CMS certified healthcare faculties and certain non-citizens, you know, at the, uh, the land border. So that's what the White House said in a statement. Um, long overdue, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, follow the science, follow the money. So AI is here, and uh, I recommend reading uh, Rebooting AI to get a holistic perspective on the technology. I've been thinking about it for years. IBM to stop hiring for roles that can be replaced by AI, ladies and gentlemen. Nearly 8,000 workers to be replaced by automation. One month ago, to much dismay and widespread denial, Goldman uh, predicted that AI could lead to some 300 million layoffs among highly paid uh, non, uh, you know, manual workers in the U.S. and Europe. So as the uh, Goldman chief econom economist said, uh, using data on occupational tasks in both uh, the U.S. and Europe, he said he found that roughly two-thirds of current jobs are exposed to some degree of AI automation and that, uh, you know, AI could uh, substitute up to one-fourth of current work. Uh, and uh, he estimated that globally, suggests that, uh, you know, the generative AI could expose the equivalent of 300 million full-time jobs to automation as up to two thirds of occupations could be uh, partially automated by AI. Now, some people said, uh, you know, uh, that's a pretty bullish forecast by Goldman and Sachs. So it was met, you could obviously, uh, from the other side of some emotions ranging from, um, you know, sadness to outright mockery. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, from the research and digging into his research deeper, it's not too far off the mark. Look what, what's going on with AI the last month. It's crazy. Consider that uh, last week Dropbox said it would uh, lay off 60% of the company, some 500 employees, as the company sought to build out its AI division. Uh, so they put a memo out to employees. Dropbox CEO Drew Houston said that in an ideal world, we'd simply um, you know ship people from one team to another, and we've done that wherever possible, he said. However, our next stage of growth requires a different mix of skill sets, particularly in AI and early stage product development. I mean, look what happened with the, uh, you know, like the kidnappings they did over the phone and, you know, mimicking someone's voice. This thing is moving really fast, ladies and gentlemen. We've, you know, so, you know, these companies have been bringing in great talent to, uh, uh, you know, their companies, but they might not need talent anymore. They might not need it. So as Bloomberg reports, you know, the IBM CEO said uh, the company expects to push, you know, or, you know, they're going to kind of reevaluate and pause hiring. Um, and hopefully they said they can replace it with artificial intelligence in the coming years. They'll save a lot of money. As a result, hiring in back office functions such as uh, human resources uh, will be suspended or slowed. Um so they're going to, and trust me, if they can cut costs, they are going to 86 jobs. So, you know, they're non-customer facing roles. Uh, that amounts to roughly 26,000 workers at IBM. Uh, he said 30 to 40% cuts getting replaced with AI. Easy. Uh, over the next five years, that would mean roughly, you know, almost 8,000 jobs to start. Loss. See ya. So enter AI, new productivity and efficiency. Uh, you know, replacing workers with, uh, you know, 
Automation expected to drive two billion or more in savings by the uh, end of 2024. They think at IBM, so that's pretty crazy. Um, this is moving really fast, and I just wanted to do a top line review of it. And that's just one company. There is a list of companies that are chomping at the bit uh, with this technology. And look, and look, look what's going on right now. How it is moving extremely fast. Companies are all in. If they can save profits and uh, get rid of humans, we don't need humans anymore. They are just, uh, you know, waste on the system. Uh, it's bad for the environment. So, you know, we want to merge with machines. And um, this is the start. I think this is very dangerous. And this technology in the wrong hands could be a very bad thing. And trust me, they want it. And I think they're going to get it unless enough people like Musk and other people talk about how maybe they need to pause this. But uh, I'm not going to say this. Look what uh, Musk did to talk about his good friend at Google and what he said about humans. And we don't need to pause this. And there's enough powerful people that don't want to pause this. So you better uh, learn to code. You better be an entrepreneur. You better get creative out there uh, to uh, fight the machine. Take care.